Hello Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video we will be talking about the cherry blossoms at the Tidal Basin in Washington DC. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. At first glance these cherry blossoms might just look like an aesthetic choice for the landscape. However, there is very much history and diplomacy within those cherry blossoms. And as springtime approaches and these blossoms start to bloom in Washington DC, I thought it would be a good time to look back and reflect on what they mean. The story begins with First Lady Helen or Nellie Heron Taft. In 1901, before the Taft presidency, Nellie traveled to the Philippines with her husband, then the governor of the Philippines, William Howard Taft. In the capital city of the Philippines, Manila, she was introduced to Lunette, a river park with grand bandstands, gardens, and tree-lined promenades, where Manila's elite would stroll in the evening to see and be seen. This kind of image remained with her into their presidency. In 1909, shortly after her husband's presidential inauguration, Nellie viewed the reclaimed tidal flats south of the Washington Monument as a potential site to develop this kind of area for the citizens of America. While the improvements for the site began underway, the First Lady was approached by Dr. David Fairchild, a renowned plant explorer and United States Department of Agricultural official, and Miss Eliza Skidmore, a Washington DC socialite. They petitioned her to install these cherry trees. To begin, the First Lady Taft directed the superintendent of the OPBG to purchase Japanese cherry trees to line the corridor or the Speedway or modern day Independence Avenue north of the Tidal Basin. Serendipitously, Dr. Jakichi Takamine, a celebrated Japanese chemist, happened to be in Washington DC the day after Nellie's plans became public. And at the same time, Japanese officials were working to strengthen the ties between the two nations, including attendance of a state dinner on April 4th in 1909. There, the doctor notified the Japanese council in New York, who arrived in Washington DC, with a proposal to donate 2,000 cherry trees for the planting effort as a gesture of goodwill between the two nations. The variety of tree species were selected to represent the different regions of the Japanese empire, and the first lady gladly accepted. The Japanese gift of cherry trees arrived in Seattle in Washington on January of 1910, and an inspection of the trees by the USDA officials revealed that they were infested with insects, nematoids, diseases, requiring the saplings to be destroyed immediately. This created kind of a tense political and diplomatic situation. The Secretary of State and Japanese ambassador became involved to resolve this situation. The plan they created involved a second donation from the citizens of Japan grown in a more controlled environment and then shipped to the United States. In 1912, the second shipment of cherry trees arrived from Japan with a personal letter to the First Lady Tap from the mayoress of Tokyo. She wrote in her letter for the hopes that the trees will form an avenue in Washington as a memorial of national friendship between the United States and Japan. On March 27th in 1912, the First Lady Taft, as well as the wife of the ambassador of Japan, planted the first two cherry trees on the northern edge of the Tidal Basin to be followed by many, many more. The ceremony was simple but created a lasting effect, with many future First Ladies doing similar things with Japanese ambassadors. The cherry trees used as landscape diplomacy have symbolized positive Japanese-American relationships again and again throughout time, and over the centuries since Nellie Taft's first initial planning. The actions and forethought of Helen Taft established a precedent for the position of the First Lady using the landscape as a diplomatic tool, and forged Japanese-American relationships as well as creating a beloved Washington DC icon. Well everybody, that's the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also be sure to click that red subscribe button and a little bell next to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!